It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon, two-time heavyweight champion in the world. And you're watching Sports Icons. Subscribe. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Champ. So let's do a bit of a serious video today. And this will be on Jack Johnson. Um, he was pardoned yesterday by President Trump after many, many years of advocates saying that pe people or the president of the United States should pardon Jack Johnson for, which we'll get into in a minute for, um, and previous administrations were refusing to pardon Jack Johnson, which is disgusting really, that it's taken this long, 2018, for Jack Johnson to actually be pardoned. Um, some of their excuses before was cited down to domestic abuse and things like that. But ultimately, what they really don't want to be doing is admitting that their history was disgusting, really. Now, Jack Johnson, um, he was born in Texas um, to former slaves, unfortunately, and became the first African-American to win the world heavyweight title back in 1908 after he defeated Tommy Burns in Sydney, Australia. Um, he held that title until 1915, when Jess Willard, a white cowboy from Kansas, took the title with a knockout in the 26th round in Cuba. So of course, this is back in the days where, you know, no such thing as a 12 rounder. This thing would go on for a long, long time. And Jack Johnson, obviously the, the first black heavyweight champion and for quite a long time before he won the title, he was denied opportunities, even though he was proving to be the best around. Now, in 1910, when Johnson defeated the Great White Hope in Jim Jeffries um, in the so-called fight of the century in Nevada, race riots erupted across the nation, which claimed more than 20 lives. So, of course, Jack Johnson was doing something that he loved, and because he was so good at it, white people back then in America just were unhappy that this black guy would get some headlines and notoriety and things like that and he didn't make things easy for himself going by what it is that I read where he would be very very flash in the ring and showboat and almost embarrass his opponents with his superior skills his athleticism and all that kind of thing and not only that he would drive around in a flash motor car and lived the lavish lifestyle that boxing of course afforded him to do and this upset a lot of racists as in a lot of white people so him doing all this kind of thing he was like the pioneer see a lot of people say that Muhammad Ali was the pioneer for the racism way back when but it was actually Jack Johnson he was one of the first to I mean definitely feel a lot of this um, you know he was imprisoned because he was with a white girl which of course we'll get into in a second but anyway um, Jim Jeffries when Jack Johnson defeated Jim Jeffries Jim Jeffries was formerly the champion and was denied a shot at Jim Jeffries beforehand Jim Jeffries then come out of retirement and Jack Johnson beat the crap out of him and a lot of people say well um, Jim Jeffries he was out of prime this this wasn't him but even jim jeffrey says listen you know okay so i got beat up badly in this fight but even me at my peak i would not have been able to cope with jack johnson um so i mean there's been like movies and that about him as well obviously from james l jones um the great white hope which was there of course um now he was arrested and charged with violating the 1910 Man Act, a so-called moral purity law that made it illegal to transport white women across state lines for immoral purposes. Of course, what that means is um, for prostitution, all that kind of thing. So, of course, what they'd done was they looked on Jack Johnson with his girlfriend at the time, Lucille Cameron, as if he was trafficking her. But in fact, you know, he was going to marry her. So it had nothing to do with that. But anyway, um, the US prosecutor argued that Johnson's relationship with Lucille Cameron was a crime against nature. And an all white jury took less than two hours to convict him, um, which of course ruined his career. Uh, Johnson skipped bail and fled to Europe to live in exile as well. So, and uh, he spent years fighting overseas before surrendering, surrendering even to the 
United States authorities in 1920 and he served 10 months in prison. Now ultimately in 1946 he did die in a car crash but the pardon is how many years too late? I mean why did it take all this time? Because they didn't want to admit part of their history was racially biased you know it was racially motivated it was a disgusting time and because jack johnson wanted to be with this white woman they were like no no no, you ain't doing that we're not having any kind of mixed, mixed relationships you know you're a black man you need to stay down there while us white people stay at the top and this is how they viewed it and they used this man act to get rid of him in the hope that his girl Lucille would actually leave him and cause all kind of problems. Basically what they were doing was they were using him as a a stamp, if you like, to show the rest of the world uh, or the rest of America, you will not get away with this. You will, you know, there's this celebrity in Jack Johnson. If we can put him in prison, imagine what we're going to do to you. So it was a way to deter, if you like, not, not only the trafficking for like prostitution and all that, but of course, mixed race relationships and that's exactly what it was in truth of course they used the law to bend it for their own racial needs um absolutely disgusting as i said he did end up marrying her anyway but he gets a pardon for something that he shouldn't have been in prison for let's be honest now of course we're living in different times so of course we're looking back going you know how obvious is that what is wrong with interracial uh, marriages and relationships because today it's perfectly acceptable and rightly so it is but back then, it was a white man's world it, um, in there in America. You see, people say that uh, we had it bad over here in the UK. Nah, man, nah, man. I mean, Britain may have started a lot of that, but the Americans perfected it, really. They, they took it and they didn't want to let it go for many, many years, where the UK, they abolished all this kind of thing a long, long time ago, where... You know black and white and everybody can live together not necessarily in harmony because it's always going to be racist from both sides of the fence and um that's just the way it is and it's unfortunate but either way um jack johnson certainly a legend uh, died too soon no doubt but he did live to a ripe age i suppose he died in a car crash um but what's kind of amazing is that the former president barack obama didn't want to pardon him being a black man himself, you would have thought that he would have been a front advocate of that. But I suppose in some ways, maybe people would have thought that he, that he was only doing it because he was defending his own race. I suppose maybe that's why he didn't do it. But he cited um, domestic abuse. Now, back in those days, it was perfectly acceptable. Again, this is a weird, weird time back then. It's perfectly acceptable for a man to smack his woman around. It's almost like if you didn't do it, what's wrong with you? You're soft. Okay, nowadays you'll go to prison and and women nowadays, you know, taking gym, they'll kick your ass, right? But um, back in them days, it was perfectly acceptable. So to not pardon him on those reasons is pretty pathetic, let's be honest. Um, and the whole reason that he's now been pardoned now with Donald Trump could be for a couple of reasons. Maybe Trump is, he's, um, he's, he is seen as a racist. Um, I'm not too sure why. I don't keep up with American politics at all. But it could be that he's trying to adhere to um uh, black people over there maybe um i don't know this one but it does it did come from pressure from sylvester stallone obviously he played rocky and that as well and um sylvester stallone has been trying for a long long time to get jack johnson pardoned so big up for sylvester stallone for pressurizing on this one um and of course big up to president trump again i don't know why people dislike him i don't know why people like him i know nothing about him but big up to both of them for actually doing it and of course in attendance it had uh, sylvester stallone lennox lewis had uh, the great grandchild was it of uh, jack johnson and of course wbc american champion in deontay wilder so yeah i mean it's been a long long time there's no doubt about it and finally they've done it i'm not too sure what this means um it certainly doesn't right the wrong of a past, does it? But it, it does expose the history of not just America, but the world of the kind of times that people lived in back then, you know, where racial awareness was everywhere. You know, if you was a black person, you were seen as a second citizen. Pro pro 
probably lower than animals you know pets probably had more privileges than what they they did back then and jack johnson were there to put it in their face like you know yeah i'm black but i'm the best around and you know here's my car and here's this and of course that rubbed people up along um uh, the wrong way i suppose but so they've finally done it they have uh finally pardoned him personally i don't think he needed pardoning anyway because he shouldn't have done it but anyway that is what it is so he was a champion for seven years heavyweight champion the first um black champion america um, african-american of course and uh yeah so they've finally done it so big up to president trump for doing it and this is what donald trump had to say right before we close the video i've issued an executive grant of clemency a full pardon posthumously to jack johnson the first african-american heavyweight champion of the world he served 10 months in prison for what many view as a racially motivated injustice. Uh, Sylvester Stallone called me with the story of heavyweight boxing champion Jack Johnson. His trials and tribulations were great, his life complex and controversial. So, yeah, he's been pardoned. So, as I said, big up to, to Sylvester Stallone for putting the pressure on, I suppose. But a racially motivated imprisonment that was the kind of world people were living in back then and people think that it was bad back then here in the uk nowhere near it america was terrible and i kind of understand why a lot of people over there in america have this kind of um issue with racism while it, it's nowhere near back then so for people who think it's really bad now try and cast your minds back to what it was and then you'll really know what racism is but either way racism is bad in all forms it doesn't matter who does it. it doesn't matter what race you are it's a travesty to do it for anyone it really is it doesn't matter what what skin pigment you have it's wrong to be biased and hatred for others not of your ethnic group so anyway or racial group i should say so yep jack johnson the first African-American black heavyweight champion of the world gets a full pardon and pretty much what it is, is an apology to the family of Jack Johnson, which should never happen in the first place. But as I said, that's the world we lived in back then. So anyway, drop your thoughts about it all. Obviously, I don't know everything about it and click that thumbs up, subscribe and I'll catch you all on the next video.